Hello friends, in this session we will be discovering the method to construct a grammar corresponding to a finite automata. So, if we see the representation of both, we already know that a machine termed as finite automata is represented as uh, a tuple, a five-member tuple basically, which has a set of states, which is Q0, Q1, so on till Qn, set of terminal symbols, then uh, terminal symbols are also termed as set of input symbols, then a set of transition function transition function increase basically or a transition function which defines the transition of the machine from one state to another q naught as the initial state and set of final states next if we see the grammar it is represented as this which is also a five set a five tuple based set which is uh, comprising of set of non terminals set of terminals, production, set, and the starting symbol, which is a naught over here. So we basically need to construct set of productions P using the transition function delta. So there are only two simple rules to perform the task. The first rule says that if there is an entry stating that there is a transition delta, from a state qi to qj with an input symbol a and qj is not a final state then we need to add a production saying ai goes to a aj note the subscripts of qi should match with ai and the subscript of qj should match with aj similarly the rule 2 states that if there is an entry delta qi a goes to qj where qj is a final state then we need to add the production ai goes to aaj now similarly these subscripts should match and another production which says ai goes to a this subscript should match with the qi subscript to the grammar so the grammar will eventually be constructed if we apply this rule one and rule two repetitively until we uh, have covered all the transitions let's see this with the help of an example so this is an example where we've been given a machine which has two states q0 and q1 and uh, Q0 is specified as the initial state, Q1 as the final state, terminal symbols or the input symbols A and B and the transition function has been defined with the help of these three transitions. Now using rule 1 that we had discussed that if there is a transition present of this form which is the first transition then uh, and also Q0 is not a final state so therefore we we'll use rule 1 we can we have to add this trans, uh, production basically with the which states that ai goes to aaj so if i match it with my given condition it will be of the form a naught goes to aa naught since the subscripts present on both the sides is uh same that is in uh, that is it is zero so therefore i would write a naught goes to a a naught and this a is basically the input symbol please note had it been b over here i would have written b so it is not specifically specified for a particular input so let's move on to the next transition the next transition is q q naught comma b goes to q1 which is q0 on input b goes to state q1 so for this since we know that q1 is a final state we'll be adding rule 2 we'll be using rule 2 which says that we need to add these two productions so in our case using this transition the productions that we'll form are a0 goes to b a1 the subscripts should match and a naught goes to b the subscript should match again so this uh, 
production this transition basically results in two productions which are labeled as 5 and 6 finally we are left with only one transition which is delta q1 a goes to q1 again q1 is a final state and hence the rule to be used is rule 2 for a final state so again applying the same rules we'll get the uh, production as uh, the productions as a1 goes to a a1 and a1 goes to small a so finally we have the productions defined as equation in equations 4 5 6 7 and 8 which can be simply listed in the form of production set as these also we know there are only two variables a not in a1 and there are two terminals small a and small b and a not is the starting symbol so this is how we've defined the grammar finally we can also simplify our productions and write them in a more convenient manner as follows so this was all about constructing a grammar corresponding to a finite automata in my next session i'll be explaining the reverse procedure that is how do we obtain a finite automata from a given regular grammar so do visit it i'm sure you'll find something interesting in it thank you friends and if you like the video please like it and subscribe for more informative videos coming up thank you